who's on the Emil Heinemann bandwagon right now? Yes, yes, what a beauty. For those of you that don't know, Emil Heinemann became property of the Montreal Canadiens after the ravioli trade with Calgary last season. We got our first glimpse of him at camp. I thought he stood out, he looked pretty sharp, and then poof. He was gone. He vanished without a trace over to Sweden. We see it happen all the time, but guess what? His season over there has come to an end. Now he's back with the Laval Rocket, and he's just a shiny new toy down there. And let me tell you, this guy is on an absolute heater right now. He's hot, like... Goal trying frying egg on his ass cheek hot. He's got six goals in six games. He's also got an assist to boot. And I've got every one of these points right here on the good old junkie tron. So let's go ahead and dive right into these. Here's his very first goal at Laval right here. Pounces on a rebound and goes top cheese. He's feeling it. You can see it in his eyes. He's got it on his back pocket. Here's the next goal he scored. This one was an empty knitter. He gets the puck, fires it down the ice from behind his own blue line and just like that he's got himself his first max patriotty special not too bad these empty knitters count but you know what i really like about him he just keeps putting himself in good scoring positions look at this one he's just hanging out in front of the net gets his chance makes no mistake it's easy as pie here he is driving to the net again god just loving what i'm seeing here he talks this one home and hey what a pass that was beautiful now let's take a look at goal number five and this one looks a little different yeah he's parked in front of the net but this time he's gonna show off some of his hand eye skills gets his stick on the shot what a nice deflection and man this guy is scoring goals in many different ways now let's move on quickly to Laval's game last night because he caused a lot of havoc in that one here he is on the power play <laughs> looks like he actually knows what he's doing which is pretty encouraging now he ends up taking a shot it looks like he scores a goal doesn't it but i don't think he actually gets it they either credit this one to scooby doo bay doo or bork so it must have hit a couple of bodies on the way but anyway he's got an assist but don't you worry because he would score a goal just a little later in the game on the power play once again look at him he's calling for the puck he gets the puck and he wars it because he's a beauty i'm telling you i don't know how many of you guys can remember him at camp but he did look pretty good we talked about him a lot on the podcast and if he continues to play like this and has a really good camp again in september then, oh yes, we could see Emil Heinemann in the Habs lineup next season. I'm thinking he's got a good chance. Now, seeing we're on the topic of Lavelle and their game last night, I also got to show you guys this hit that was thrown on poor young William Trudeau down there. Jeez. Just nasty. Puts him right into the post and it comes off. And Trudeau did look pretty shaken up. I mean, that was bad. Look at it from this other angle. This angle is brought to you by the Junkie 5G. Oh, nasty. Uh, and the guy that delivered the hit just ran away. It's too bad that nobody got to claw this guy's eyes out at some point during the game. But uh, maybe next time. But anyway, guys, that does it for this video. Let me know what you think of the heater that Emil Heinemann's been on down in the comment section. Do you think that he's got a shot to crack the Canadiens lineup next season? Don't forget to cross check the like button on the way out of here. And hey, I'll see you next time.